Trivia question. How many pandemics does it take to drive a normal man insane? You ready for the answer? The answer is zero. See, before we've even experienced a pandemic, average people have been losing their sanity daily. And now that our world is in a season of craziness, it seems like the appropriate time to lose hope. But in this video, I'd like to share three ways I've personally been staying focused through turmoil. And I don't think I've been doing the best these last three to four months, but I've been making it through and now I feel called to share my heart. I've had many friends reach out to me and talk this year. Some have experienced losses in their family through the COVID. Others have experienced unemployment and a number are struggling with their relationships. Now, I don't have a degree in life coaching, but I do have a passion for gratitude. And that seems to be the, the root of the conversations that I, when I'm given the opportunity to encourage my loved ones. And I've shared many techniques and action steps with, with my friends. But today I wanna to share three with you, whoever's watching this video right now. And I can't guarantee that these things will work for you, but I do know that they've been providing positivity for myself and those who I've shared them with so far. And here they are. Number one, start with the end in mind. And see, I know a lot of motivational speakers say it's key to be present and live life in the moment. But what about when your present life isn't so great? See, in this case, I personally like to think about my end goal and try to figure out what action steps I can take today to get me closer to that goal. For example, I've been a part of seven books so far with my business and writing a book will definitely teach you a few things about patience. Sometimes when I'm less than 5,000 words in, I get very discouraged and I feel like just closing my laptop and tucking it under my bed. But it's times like this where I have to intentionally think about the end goal, about how my client will feel when they're flipping through the pages of their book, ecstatic to see their vision turn to reality. And this picture I create in my mind, it gives me the motivation to push through the next couple thousand words. So yes, it's important to be present and it's arguably more important to start with the end in mind when your present isn't so pleasant. And number two, find time to meditate and exercise. And I say both because some people I know aren't so fond of working out. And if this is the case for you, then meditation will work just fine. But I believe it's important to find an outlet uh, for your mind. It's so much chaos going on. It could be in your personal life or in the world and it's making so much more, so much noise, whether that be um, on the media or in your email box. And I can admit that I'm guilty of mentally screaming when I'm overwhelmed with too much going on um, in my life. And during this moment, I have to mentally check out. And I do this personally by exercising or by using the Calm app to do a quick three to five meditation. And even, even if you don't have the app, just giving yourself um, a moment of silence uh, with your eyes closed, it'll provide a release for you. And there's a quote that I love, and it goes, in silence, there's no emptiness, is full of answers. And number three, find an accountability partner. And this makes me think of the cliche quote, the iron sharpens iron. But how many of you know that this quote is actually biblical? Proverbs 27, 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so does a friend sharpen a friend. It's much easier to stay focused when you know that someone is expecting you to succeed. When you know that you have to follow up with a friend about a certain, a certain action item, even if that's just writing down one thing you're grateful for every day, it plants a seed in your mind that you have to get it done. And so these are the three ways that I've personally been able to stay focused in the midst of turmoil. And so if you've, if you've adapted any of these, methods, these methods or you have any of your own, comment below and let me know what they are. Peace and love.